And guess what? You're going to get three hours of Clever today. So not just two hours like our normal show. We added an extra hour today because we got just, we had too much stuff for two hours. So we are totally jacked up with really cool stuff today, but I wanted to uh, pick one item to show you really quickly. Um, I bought this the first time I aired it um, because I, uh, my kitchen floor always seems to get dirty and uh, <clears throat> I want to be able to do it myself. It's called the Handy Mop. I call it the Miracle Mop. This thing is amazing. First of all, weighs less than two pounds. I mean, literally it is so lightweight, but the key is the mop head. The mop head is this super absorbent, but at the same time, slightly rigid mop so that you can use it for dusting. You can use it for uh, general sweeping and cleaning. But when you get it wet, and I, what you do is you do hot water on it, right? Ring it out. You'll see it's got its own self-ringing system that just slides down, rings out the water. It becomes this incredibly uh, like, uh, like porous material that will soak up anything. So if you spill milk on the floor or if you spill, <clears throat> you know, cereal, so you've got crumbs and you've also got uh, liquid, it soaks it up lickety split. And then you just bring it over to the sink. It'll go down like, uh, like flat so you can go uh, underneath appliances and things like that. This is it right here. I love it. It's my pick of this hour. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order it, it's only $26.95. It's still on sale. We're doing free shipping on it. It comes in um, the aqua color. It's, we're just calling it, I guess we're calling that teal. It also comes in gray <clears throat> and it also comes in berry. So if you want to grab that, we'll be showing you some great demos. Keith Enzi will be joining me a little bit later. I'm going to walk over to our other studio <clears throat> where we're going to demonstrate our first item for you. But if you need a great spotlight, but you don't know nothing about wiring, right? You're like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm gonna have to hire some guy to get him out here for 200 bucks to install a motion light outside. You don't have to do that anymore because this one does not need any babysitting. It takes care of itself. It charges all day with the power of the sun. And then anytime you walk into it, it's gonna set itself off and it's gonna give you nice, nice bright light. So perfect, like over a garage, right? You drive in your car, it sees the car, turns on. Uh, maybe in your backyard, the kids are out there playing. It'll stay on as long as it detects motion. Uh, it'd be great on a, you know, for your driveway, stairs outside. Uh, it is impervious to weather. It's made to be outdoors. No cords whatsoever. This is it, all right? So you can stake it in the ground. If you want, you can mount it somewhere like underneath your gutters or you can mount it right over your garage door. You can put it absolutely anywhere. The thing is amazing. It is only $19.95 today. So look around your outdoor area and think, where would I like to have a spotlight? Where would I like, you know, where would I like light when I walk out there? It could be like near your recycle bin. It could be by your trash, uh, you know, keep, uh, to keep the, uh, the uh, skunks and the raccoons away. It'll automatically stay on. And then after about uh, like 20, 30 seconds, it'll automatically turn off unless it, uh, unless it detects motion again. Um, to, uh, the item number is 697-323. It is a great way to start our show. We always love to start with something affordable and something that everybody needs. 1995 flex pay because everything today is on five flex. Free shipping on all our electronics. It's a great day to be here. Here's a good friend of mine, Mr. Lou Caputo, who is Skyping in. Lou, the, you know, a lot of people Got out it. there have thought about having, you know, a motion light outside, but with the mm -hmm. wiring and having to hire somebody, this, you could do this yourself. Oh, totally, yeah. I, and you know what, too? I, I've seen spotlights before that are kind of like, mm, they're not yeah, the brightest not thing in bright. the world. Right. You know what I mean? Especially if they're solar. These guys are crazy, crazy bright. And the reason is, first of all, they're from Bell and Howell. These guys have been around for over 10 years. They've won Academy Awards for advancements in lighting. So these are going to kick out a ton of light. There's actually what we call eight SMD LEDs on these. That stands for surface mount diodes. But they're not just the diodes themselves. They're actually each and every one is behind a little tiny lens. So it really amplifies the light that comes out of this. They do have a motion sensor. They do have a light sensor. There's one switch right here on the back of the solar panel. All you gotta do is just turn it on. And then once you do that, you forget that they're there. You can stake them in the ground, as you mentioned, Guy. You can mount them on a wall under your eaves, any place like that. But this is, I'm not kidding, one of the brightest lights I've ever seen. In fact, what I'm gonna do is, let me turn my lights off in here. These two guys are activated. Now, you're gonna see two things happen. My lights are gonna go down, and you're gonna start seeing little red flashes on here. The little red flashes are that sensor coming on, looking for motion up to 25 feet away okay so here we go I'm gonna turn my lights off now here comes the flashing you see those little red flashes now look at that as soon as even the one in my hand went on as soon as it sees the motion they start coming on now these will stay on until I stop moving around all right or for 25 seconds, whichever comes first. So that's the way that those are gonna work. But I mean, the light that comes out of these is really usable light, guy. And it's a wide beam too, and that's the cool thing. Like my whole backyard is lit up by one of these. 
I mean, and that's yeah. without wiring. That's without an electrician. <laughs> you know, it took me like just a couple minutes to hang it. Nothing to it. Uh, you know, that's, that, I, I also do the do-it-yourself show on Wednesdays, and, and this is another yep. great item that's one of those ones where... Why spend the money on paying somebody to do it? And and you know what I love too, Lee is uh, Louis, is that everybody out there needs something like this. You, maybe you've already got pre-wired lights and oh, you're sure. fine with all that stuff. I, I always tell this story. I, when I moved into my house, uh, it, uh, you know where I live, uh, uh, down near the beach, I, I I there was a motion light in the backyard with two big spotlights on it. And I yeah. was looking all over and I'm like, I'm like, is there some kind of a switch because it wouldn't work? So I <laughs> went and I spent a lot of money on big giant bulbs. And you know those big old mm -hmm. halogen bulbs, how big and expensive big they are. are. Uh, I, I went up on a ladder, put them in, nada. Ungots. I got nothing, yeah. right? Because obviously there was something wrong. I called the guy and I, and I asked the guy, the electrician, you know, I said, I got this light, it's not working. He goes, well, it probably needs to be rewired. I said, how much for that? He goes, it's about 150 bucks. I'm like, you know, $150. <laughs> I already spent $30 on bulbs. The, bot the right. bottom line is those bulbs burn out. They always do, right? You they see do. them, they steam yeah. because they, they use incandescent type light, right? Or halogen light. So they're really, really hot. I always think they're kind of mm -hmm. dangerous. They have a tendency to burst uh, in the rain, which is dangerous. This, you don't have to worry because LEDs are cool running. They sip energy. Even when you have them wired, they sip energy. These aren't even wired. These are just using the sun's energy to charge them all yeah. day. So think about yeah. it over your garage door. When you pull in, wouldn't it be nice for the light to go on while you're getting into your, you know, while you're waiting for your, your door to open? Wouldn't it be nice if you were putting your key in your front door and a light turned on so you could see? And then it automatically right. turns off. And by the way, I'll mention this really too. When it comes to solar panels, and I know Lou will agree with me on this, size is everything, mm -hmm. okay? That's the you, biggest one I've ever seen. It's the biggest <laughs> one I have ever seen really on is. a single light, okay? Yes, the, uh, you know, yes. So when you see 1995, I mean, if you multiplied this by, t by 25 and put this on your roof, it would probably be oh, yeah. $2,000, maybe more than that, just for one panel, okay? So you're getting a great panel that'll absorb the light. And Lou, I believe the panel's adjustable too to be able to allow for the most sunlight capture correct yeah absolutely you can you can angle the the uh, solar panel so that it's going to get as much sun during the day as possible but it's crazy because you know when you pick up one of these lights they have a fair amount of heft to them yes. and you wouldn't expect that because the leds don't weigh all that much and these are plastic <clears throat> but it's mostly the solar panel and it's the batteries inside of this because they, they really do hold that much power you know one place where i like to have these is out um in my driveway not necessarily for when i come home i like that part but for at night when i'm asleep We've got a problem around here where people come and they just check your car doors to see if they're open. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they like to go in there. But if the light comes on, remember, 25-foot range. So when somebody comes up to the edge of your driveway, that light's going to go on. As soon as that light comes on, they're, they're turned around. They're going away. They're not going to come up there. But you know what? The other thing I like about these is we've seen other types of lights. For instance, you were just talking about something like this. And this is an LED light right here, but and it does have a motion sensor, but it's got the cord. Yeah. So you got to get power to this somehow. And you said it was over 100 bucks. I'm going to say that you were lucky with that because they were just doing a rewire. Because if they were actually running a wire, it's going to be a yeah. lot more money than that. Or like these lights here. And these actually work. I'm a big fan of these, but they use D-sized batteries. And you know what? The one thing that I don't need to do is remember one more darn thing that i got to put a battery in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I need them, they never work. With these lights, I'm going to tell you right now, because they're solar, I don't have to worry that they're not going to come on. And again, I turn my lights off. You see the red flashing. I'm going to move a little bit. And all of a sudden, everything comes on. And you can see, look at my hand. You yeah. can see how crazy, crazy bright these are. And that's why these are so great. Because for my money guy, I'll put these up against a wired light any day of the week. Because that's how bright they are. That's how much light these put out. I, 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 when I moved to my house, there was a couple of wired lights. They're all gone. I use all solar. I'm like, first of all, it's better. It's better for the world to use solar anyway. I mean, you get free energy. Absolutely. Why would you want? Why would you want to pay for something you don't have to pay for? These are easy. Um, when you order, by the way, you will get everything you need. Okay, you get the solar panel, which is attached to the light itself. We're going to give you the ground stake so that if you do want mm -hmm. to uh, stake it into the ground, a lot of people like it. You know, like uh, aim towards their driveway. So when they pull in, uh, that'll work. You know, a lot of, yep. not everybody has a garage. You could hang them on a post. I mean, we give you everything yeah. you need, even the little screws to be able to screw them in wherever you go. And I love, Lou, that everything articulates. The light itself articulates, as does the Name solar everything. panel. So it's yeah. really, I mean, literally, we are talking about a five-minute install here, okay? Five oh, yeah. minutes, and you are good to go. And here's the perfect example, right? Bad guy walks on yep. your property, lights go on, bad guy goes to the next house, right? I mean, it's that simple, well, you know, 
Even if you've got, like, I have a shed that's out in the back of my property, yeah. and there's no lights out there. So when I'm walking out there at night, I keep my firewood out there. When I'm walking out there at night, it's nice that light just greets me. It just comes on. If you have a staircase on your property, great idea to put one by that. Anytime somebody approaches it, boom, lights come on. Because why leave them on all night long if you don't use them? But this, this is going to give you that light you want without the fuss, without the muss, without the heat, without the batteries. None of that. Three dollars and ninety nine cents to get it delivered. Try it out for thirty days. I know you'll love it, and you're going to be like, I should have bought two or three of these dang things, and hopefully yeah. we'll still have some because it's very like solar lighting is very it's very contagious, right? People are, like my neighbors across the street all have solar lighting because they saw mine. They're like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. And I'm like, yeah, and you never replace the bulbs. These are permanent bulbs. Most uh, yep. landscape lighting or motion lighting that's plugged in, you got to replace the bulbs, especially if they. I mean, if they're using halogen bulbs. Forget it. So, and, oh, yeah. and you know that that um, that solar lighting and LED bulbs, when you go to try to buy them in store, they're always more expensive because they last longer. Go figure, right? Anyway, if you <laughs> want to get them, you can grab them right now. Uh, $19.95 is perfect uh, for a price, 697-323. Hey, Lou, are you still there? I really still quick. Here. I've got a two-pack yep. of the origami uh, heavy mm -hmm. duty large racks. Can you talk about 30 seconds for this? You get two of them. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the racks we're talking about are the original racks that we very first started selling, you know, over a decade ago. These guys will hold up to 1,000 pounds a piece without the wheels on them. That's awesome. 250 pounds per shelf. With the wheels on them, as you see right there, guy, that's 75 pounds per shelf for a total of 300, which is still a lot. These are all powder coated steel. And you saw the way the guy just flipped that top over. It literally takes you less than five minutes to put these together. I just say that because all you're really doing is opening them. But you can use them indoors, you can use them outdoors. You get 12 linear feet of storage from each of these. And think about this for a second, Guy. I always love saying this. You're getting two of them. So, that, you know, without the wheels, that's a thousand pounds per rack you can store. My friend, that is a ton of storage that you're getting <laughs> right now. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> By the way, I have five different colors to choose from. We like to do, a, actually, six colors. We like to do a two pack and we reduce the shipping and handling because everybody that buys one wants to. Think about your storage area, mm -hmm. your garage, your shed, whatever it is. Uh, you're going to love these. The item number 658-853. Lou, thanks for hanging in there, buddy. Appreciate you. You're welcome, my friend. I will see you a little later. Yeah, we'll see you a little bit later in the show. Take care. All right. All right, 658-853. Customer pick over 2,500 five-star reviews. Come on back over. We're going to talk about more problems. You know, we, uh, this whole hour or three hours is about clever solutions. And we want to get right into our Professor Amos uh, super fast drain cleaner. So let me just tell you, I own this stuff. It is amazing, okay? If you've got a slow-moving drain, if you have a clogged drain, Maybe you got one of those kitchen sinks that just keeps on slowing down on you, or even worse, a bathtub or a, or a shower basin, and it fills with water. You need to try this. You're gonna get a 32 ounce, you get a two pack of these, okay? So you are getting two packs, two 32 fluid ounce containers. It breaks down the gunk, it breaks down the funk, it dissolves slime and grime, it even dissolves hair. That's really the key. See, hair attaches itself inside your pipes and it just keeps building and building. It's like the snowball going down the hill, right? It just keeps on getting worse and worse and worse until finally you get a slow moving drain. This is gonna get in there, it's gonna eat it away. It gets rid of hair, grease, oil, soap, uh, ladies, makeup, right, that gets down there. All that has oils which stick to everything. It's gonna liquefy that mess. It's gonna give you fresh, clean pipes flowing pipes, which is absolutely uh, 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 awesome. So if you walk into your bathroom and there's a little bit of a funky smell, there's a very good chance that smell might be coming out of one of your drains because you're growing a little science experiment in there. Anyway, 084478, Amos Harp the third joins us live on Skype. <laughs> Hello, my man, it's good to see you, it's been a while. <laughs> Guys, great to be with you, and here's to all the science experiments in your drain line. <laughs> when you got those drain gases, those drain odors, you pour six ounces, six ounces of our super fast drain cleaner down the drain, and it has an accelerated formula, so it starts to work on contact. Do you see what's happening already? It's super fast, turns your hair into foam, it turns your food into foam, all the grease and oil in your drain line, it ends up turning into a foam. We call that saponify because that's the dynamic way that it works, turning everything in the drain in the foam. Now, guy, all you got to do is let the product sit, let it do the work so you don't have to. In 10 minutes, that foam turns into liquid. Inevitably, it all passes through the drain line when you run hot water. Unlike these consumer products that you see at the store all the time, we, we buy them at the home stores and the yep. depots. The problem is products like these contain acid, 
bleach, ammonia, there's animal fats in here. These are highly corrosive materials. And you gotta think about it. You're putting all these down your drain lines, all these chemicals, products like these, they come back up out of the drain lines too. So you gotta be careful, especially when you have children or pets at home. So 90% of the chemicals trickle right past the clock. Take a look at this guy. They end up down here at that curve unit. That's the design to hold fluids to keep odors from coming back up in your house. But the chemicals are sitting there building heat of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way too hot for your drain lines. Your drain lines aren't bulletproof. They're not made to get that hot. And think about something real quick, guy. Your pipes are cold because it's cold all over the country right now. Now, when your drain lines go from extremely cold to hot fast, inevitably, they're going to crack. Let's give it a minute and come right back and see if anything happens. But don't wink. You're going to miss it. Super fast has that accelerated formula. So it works on contact. You put six ounces down the drain and all you're going to do, you can count to yourself right now, how long does it take for that to activate and go to work? Yeah. Well, you'll see that in 10 seconds or less. Look at it. Look at it. Last week's goes. food. Yeah. Guy, last month's food. Guy, last year's food that's hardened and solidified <sighs> in the drain line, yeah. it's breaking that too. No need to grab the plunger and the snake and put all that wear and tear on there. Just let the product sit and let it do the work. Work smarter. My dad's professor, Amos, he always taught me growing up. He said, son, above all things, get understanding. Let the product do the work. I want yeah. you to work smarter and not harder. Right. Well, it, you know what, Amos? It defeats the whole purpose to, to go out and buy a product, right? Yeah. And then have to sit there and plunge and then have to snake the drain. I mean, that, that's, that's, what a, that's what a plumber's gonna come in and do. Why would you want to do that and to your point I've seen a lot of people you know you know they get in there and they get too rough and they you know you could damage uh, you could damage the drain system as well <laughs> see the, the product that we're talking about here is thick it's almost like a syrup okay yes. so it coats whatever is inside there it doesn't just drain through and sit down in the trap the trap is wherever it angles right it doesn't right. do that it actually attaches itself to all the funk and all the gunk and then oh, it starts funk. working to as you as a uh, Amos will uh, use the term supanify, which may, I, I, I believe means liquefy. Um, but yes. what it does is it, it turns it into a solution that can easily flow through the pipe. So you're not going to get those little jam ups at the trap line, right at that little curve right there. You know, when you think about it, when something has to make a quick right turn, that's a good place for it to slow down, right? If you had to make a turn in a car, what happens? You got to slow down. So that's right. what happens to all the funk and the gunk. And that's where it usually gets locked in. So we're going to give you two of these for $33.97, all right, they're on sale today. Uh, shipping's only five, uh, five fifty. dollars Get them home and pour them in your drains. So that's all we really need to do, Amos, right? I mean, let it sit a little bit, let it do the work. That's it, all, and then all you have to do is run hot water. And here we go, I'm running the water now so you can get a bird's eye view of what I'm talking about. When you run the water, all the grease and oils have been suspended free from the inside of the drain line. Now, when you run the hot water, inevitably everything passes through, the bugs, the matter, the food, the grease and oil, it all passes through. Let me do that one more time over here on test tube number three. I'm gonna go to test tube number three and watch this. Uh, run that water, and I run hot water, and it just cleans the inside of that drain line. And that's another thing I got to tell you, uh, guy. We don't have a drain opener. This is different. What that means to you is our product will open the drain line. It'll open it, and it'll clean yes. the drain line. And very important, you don't want anything sticky or oily left behind to attract the hair or the new clog and make that build up. Um, now, we got to show you something here. I got to qualify this. This right here is known as the dirtiest place in your whole house. There's about 500,000 particles of bacteria per square inch in the drain line of your kitchen sink. That's the drain gases. That's where they're coming from. That's the drain odors. So maintenance and clean. Don't wait for the problem, guy, uh, because it's not if, it's when. And when you have that drain gas, that drain odor, or, or that clog, you take six to eight ounces to that hardened and solidified matter. The, the, the last week's food, last month's food, last year's food, it's hardened and solidified in your drain line. Pour the six ounces on there and let the product do the work. I promise you, got, I, I had a, uh, something at home that happened the other day. My kids in the second bathroom, who knows what they're doing in there. But when they put something in, uh, down the drain and you don't know about it, you need a proprietary formula goes. like our Superfest to yep. open a drain line without having to open all the windows, without having to uh, wear the gloves and all the mask uh, and bring the chemicals in your house. Superfest has none of the acid and the ammonia that's why we have the innovative drain cleaning method. Now, what I gotta tell you is we have one of the only hair dissolving formulas in the country that we know of at HSN. Our formula will turn your hair into foam, the pet hair, the human hair, 
Fuzz Lantern Fur. And the problem is, if you don't do that, you got to think about this. Picture this. The inside of your drain lines are coated with fats, oils, and greases. Now, when you wash your dog or your cat one time, that hair goes down there and your drain line, line looks like that right there. And that hair just builds and builds and builds until your lines are completely choked out nothing can get through so service and maintenance those drain lines with our super fast drain cleaner the one that turns everything in the drain into foam now these tubes right here represent the, the big six inch tubes that go from under your house and out to your sidewalk down to the city sanitation well there was about eight ounces of our super fast in the test tube number one watch this guy i'm gonna put the whole <laughs> bottle in the test Look, tube number floating. two <laughs> oh that's good, not good helping point. Yeah. Good point. See, that's what happens. You pour them chemicals down there and things start to come back up. It makes every all the matter in your drain lines float and it comes back up into your bathtub. Think about your kids. You know, they're taking baths. You don't want chemicals coming back up into the tub or the sink. Now, those chemicals will sit there building heats of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, it's cold out. Your pipes are cold. You don't want them to go from hot to cold fast because they'll crack. So use our super fast to break yeah. that down without without the heat index. We don't yeah. want heat in the pipes. We oh. want things to break it down, uh, turning things into foam. Yeah, and That's I don't want to... called to I, quantify. Yeah, I don't want to wait. <laughs> and I don't want to wait five hours for the drain to clear. When it's, when it's the, you know, you go to bed at night and you're like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour some of this in because I got to wait six, eight hours till tomorrow before I can take a shower. The whole right. idea with this, and the reason we it's named that is because it's faster. It adheres to all the clogged material that's inside your drain. And it starts to, it starts to literally liquefy it right right there. I wish you could see it. That's why we like to show it to you right now. Hey, we are extremely busy. You can see over 47,000 in this uh, visit. It's always been a customer pick on hsn.com. I own it. I use it. I have, a, uh, I, have, I have some new plumbing in my house, but my house is originally from the 30s when it was yes. built. So I know that the, the, that the main, the, the main drains that, you know, that go from the house to the main sewer, those, those are going to get, those are going to get cleared out as well, right? Because those have been there forever. So you've got Absolutely. pipes, you've got pipes that are probably made of cast iron, you know, raw, whatever, iron pipes or, or whatever they are, because they're, yes. they, you know, a lot of the mains are not made of the PVC or, or the rubberized material. So they get the little flicks and flecks and things stick in there and eventually that backs up into your house. So it's just like when you take care of your own pipes in your body, right? You want to make sure everything flows smoothly, right? Want to make sure that, you know, that's why we watch our cholesterol and all that stuff. You got to <laughs> do the same for your pipes. I mean, you otherwise, well, otherwise you're a professional, Amos, you and your dad and your family. Uh, I mean, what yes. would it co what's it cost me to get a plumber out there just to come out? How you much? call a plumber right now. When that guy, when that plumber knocks on your door, guy, it's a hundred dollars. It's called a yep. service call. And around the holidays, it doubles or triples. Now, I heard you going over some of those pipes that it's safe for. If you have uh, galvanized steel, if you have copper, if you have PVC, how about the older homes? They have the old terracotta clay pipes to run yeah. from under your house out to the side bar. Uh, yes, you, you can use super fast on any one of those applications. Now, look, I'm going to keep talking, but look what's going on. Any one of those applications, it's, it's safe on. If you have a septic tank, a septic system, super fast is designed to clean that. You, you know what, guy? I use it in the RV, the camper. Uh, you drain gases, drain odors, they come up in there too. I use this in the camper and it clears the drain line. And I want you to think about something. When you've already used these chemicals at home, um, they all look different, but they're the same ingredients. Products like these have acid, bleach, ammonia, animal fats and stuff like that. But when you use these at home, they tell you don't mix chemicals because you can have a bad reaction. You know, uh, the ammonia in one and the acid in the other, it, 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 it starts to coagulate and you can hurt yourself. But super fast, Superfast doesn't have the acid. This is a, an innovative drain cleaning method that works by turning everything into foam. Turning it into foam. It's not about how much acid. It's not about how much ammonia is in your product. Use our Superfast. It, it'll, it'll break down. Uh, look, watch this. So what I'm saying is when you have the clog at home and you have the standing water and the chemicals that are already in your sink, use Superfast right over top of that. We have that innovative drain cleaning method without acid, without ammonia. So what I'm saying... What I'm saying is, guy, you're not going to have a chemical reaction. You're not going to have an explosion right. in your drain line. It's imploding. It's breaking it down in the yeah. foam. <laughs> and you know what? That's there's what there's love. no effort, guys. So, you know, I listen, the last thing you want to do is grab a plunger or one of those snaky wires and start digging down there. You don't even know what you're doing half the time. You're just like, oh, this will work. Use this stuff, all right? Pour it down your your uh, your um, drain in your shower or your tub. 
Uh, pour it down your, your kitchen sink, pour it down your bathroom sink. I would say probably your bathroom sink and your shower are the two biggest areas of concern because you gotta think what's going in there. If you shave, it's the hair from your face. Uh, if you wash your hair in a shower, it's it's usually hair is, the, is one of the biggest culprits because everything sticks to hair. And as Amos said, this is one of the only products I've ever seen that can dissolve <laughs> hair. I mean, that's really, that's the deal. That's why if, if you've ever had a plumber come over and they pull the snake out, what are they got on the end of it? Hair. Yeah, it looks like a wig. Hair. You're pulling a dang wig out of that thing. No so, doubt, it looks like a rat's nest. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> so tell me what's going on here. Well, um, say, say that again, guys. I said, what's going on right there? That's that's okay. melting away the hair. <laughs> so, uh, so we have the only hair dissolving formula in the country that we know of here at HSN. When you have pet hair, human hair, fuzzling or fur, super fast will break the hair down into foam. It's amazing. This is innovative cleaning technology. So yes, use it on if you have that hair clogged. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this down that designer sink. Uh, I just want you to picture this. You'd never use uh, anything with acid or ammonia in a designer sink like this because it would rust out the fixtures that would etch it. Now there goes those other pipes you were talking about, that guy. Galvanized steel, PVC, uh, copper pipes. You yeah. can use super fast for any one okay, of those pipes. Look at it. There you go. Guys. I love it watching go. it. Hey, and I hey, love, I love knowing guy, that's what's go. going Victory on. Lap. Go ahead. Victory lap. Here's going my happy dance. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just what tell I'm you. Look, yeah, you want to dance like Amos? Well, <laughs> you know, it's funny. And that's how I feel when the drain clears. I really do. I'm like, oh, man, because all I think of is what's in the pipe. So, yeah. the, and, and remember what Amos said. It's probably the most disgusting area of your home that you don't see. And, and if you see those little silverfish crawling out of your drain, guess what they're living on? They're living on, I hate to say it, bits and pieces of you. And yeah, it is disgusting. <laughs> and, they, and the gases that they give off, that's what smells yeah. like rotten eggs. It's rotting, it's rotting debris that's in your pipe. So if you want to get rid of it, this is the way to do it. Customer pick 084478. By the way, auto ship is available. So if you want to get it in a timely manner, you'll get your first order now. You can get one in April, October, December, and then the following February. I'm already planning you a year out. You get two of these. Amos, great it. job, buddy. Thank you so Thank much. You guys. I appreciate you. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bud. Take there he goes. <laughs> 084478, customer pick on hsn.com. We're going to step away and we got more, much, much, much more of Now That's Clever. Stick around. There is nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Shopping is easier than ever with the HSN app. Turn on notifications to get shipping updates, exclusive offers, and alerts on your favorite products sent straight to your phone. Now you can share all your fabulous finds with your friends right from the app through Facebook, text, and more. Save your favorite products all in one place. See it, heart it, save it. Download the app for Apple or Android devices by searching HSN app on hsn.com. Back. Let's do it. Relax. <laughs> and enjoy the thrill of finding something new. It could sell out right now. Join Colleen Lopez as she shares new favorites and top finds you'll love. <laughs> Shopping with Colleen's today at 12 p.m. Eastern. Welcome back. Hey, uh, we're not we're not on it yet, but I wanted to mention handy hooks are in the show. We got everybody keeps calling for them and they want them in here. Handy hooks are these amazing. You get 24 of these amazing things, little hooks that will stick to anything. They're not like suction cup hooks of the past, right? These things are awesome. You get 14 of the large and 10 of the small. They will hold. You ready for this? They will hold up to 18 pounds with a hook. Here, I got one right here. I'll do a quick demonstration. So if you need to hang something on glass or tile, how about your shower, right? You want to hang your sponges. You want to hang your brushes check this out i got 15 pounds of weight right here i'm gonna put i'm gonna grab a handy hook i'm gonna lift it up you ready there it is look you're like oh he's cheating he's holding it back all right hold it that way 
<laughs> These things will not come off. Look at that. That is, that is 15 pounds of weight, so whether it's that, I've got a jug of milk here, no problem. Handy hooks are great. So anything you need to hang in your home, grab them. I, I own them. They are phenomenal, and those are coming up a little bit later. All right, come on back over here. Let's get to speaking of uh, things that are handy, our handy mop. So let me give you the backstory on this. So at first time I aired it, I've been looking for a great mop, but I don't like ring uh, string mops. I hate those. I don't even, I'm not even crazy about sponge mops because they're impossible to sanitize. This is called the handy mop, all right? It is made of this unique material, all right? When you get it home, you'll get two of the mop heads. When you feel them, they will be like a brick. They're hard, all right? As soon as you put hot water on them, they soften up and they become as thirsty as ever. What I love about it is it weighs less than two pounds. It takes up no space space in my closet. It's self-ringing. It gets in every crack or crevice. You can even lean it down to get underneath everything. It's a sweeper and a mopper all in one. It's my pick of the show just because I think it's brilliant. I mean, and, and it's 26 bucks. It's like, you're going to use this thing a couple times a week, spill some cereal. You need to get the, the kitty litter off the floor. Whatever you do, the key is just remember to, uh, to get it with, uh, run it under hot water first. That's going to, that basically brings the spongy part of it to life. And then just go to town, wring it out. It's all you need to do. I don't even use, I don't even use a bucket, right? I just, I actually just take it and I run it under the hot water under the tap. And then I wring it out and I go and I do my kitchen floor and I'm done lickety split. Item number 683542, Keith NZ. My man Keith is standing by. Keith, people are loving the handy mop, buddy. Loving it. Guy, you got that right. Anyone, we can get this thing in hands. They absolutely love it. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you real quick. It comes in three pieces. You screw the handle together, okay? And here's the bottom piece. You bring it through, you lay it flat. You get one of your sponge heads out of the thing. Some of them come hard because of shipping, or this comes soft. Like you said, if they're hard, run them under cold water, I mean under hot water, and you're good. You'll see grooves in here and these little latches. They line up, you snap the mop head in, and that's Boom. all you gotta do. That's the only time you ever have to touch this mop. And then you dip it in hot water, and in about 30 seconds, it's good to go. I'm not gonna make everybody wait 30 seconds, so we'll just let that one sit there. Now here, I'm gonna show you the capacity of this. Here's a brand new one right out of the box. Look at how much Whoa. liquid this can contain. Wow. I mean, guy, look at this. What other mop on the plant can do anything like this? Now, this thing is an extreme mess. What are you gonna do in real life? As I pull the handy mop through, it's gonna pick everything up like a sponge, like a squeegee, like a wet vac, any kind of other machine that this will replace, leaves it so dry. I mean, look at it. It's a tissue that's gonna pick up any moisture. No one's waiting for a floor to dry, anything like that. Now, say I picked up the mess. All you have to do, lean it to the side, you hear it click. It isn't gonna break. When it clicks, flip it, it flips right up, and I can have the camera come in. You bring the roller through, and it releases everything that you just picked up right into the bucket, Perfect. or we use it into the sink. Now, the rest of the floor, watch this. I mean, I'm gonna do the whole floor in about 10 seconds, and this floor is gonna be dust-free, dander-free, pollen-free. It's gonna be perfectly clean, perfectly dry, and I didn't touch a thing with my hand. Again, that. lean it to the side, you hear it click, it flips up, you bring it over to your bucket or your sink, you release it, everything you picked up goes right back into yeah. the bucket. It took, it and took, it's clean. Yeah, you know what it took? It took me five minutes to get it. Like all of a sudden I'm like, oh, the, the flip and click, I got it, right? It was really, really easy. Really quick, because I know Keith has a lot of great demos. I want to show you colors. So the one right here is called teal. All right, they're all stainless on the pipes uh, that, that connect it. This one here is called berry. That's the one that's kind of purple. And then the one over here is called gray. When you order, everybody will get two of the mop heads, okay? And uh, Keith, you told me the mop heads can last you, what, like about a year? Six months, a year, whatever. It depends really how much you use it, but we're gonna give you two. And there's others available if you need to, to restock it. But $26.95, my, my favorite the feature of this is actually is the way that you, that you store it. It has a little eye on the top so you can hang it. Put a little hook in a closet and just leave it there. Whenever you need it, snap it into place, run it under hot water. I told you uh, and I tell everybody here, Keith, I don't even use a bucket. I just run it under hot water for like five minutes, get it, get it back to life. And, uh, and then I just go to town and then I rinse it off at the end. I don't know of another sponge key or another like ring mop, string mop that actually will not harbor 
All the gunk in the funk. Tell me when I'm back. This, this one doesn't do it. This one is clean every time you use it. <laughs> yeah, you're 100% right. And like you said, it comes with two mop heads. PVA lasts, they say, up to two years. You will 100% get a full year out of it, out of any surface, any condition. People like me who use it three or four times a day chasing my dog hair and everything like yeah. that, it might last me a year, but somebody who uses it once a day, it's going to last you a couple of years. It's impervious to chemicals, so you can use any cleaning chemical you want. And it, look at this. Say somebody spills coffee. Hardwood floor. What am I going to do? Either I'm doing a load of laundry, I'm wasting a buck in paper towels, or I'm going to waste about five bucks in them disposable cleaning pads, and I'm all aggravated. This is going to leave my floor picked up free that. coffee, no That's dust, it. no debris. And guess what? I didn't sweep the floor either. So, where do you see? Now, I picked up all the coffee. Look at all the dog hair it picked up. Wow. Now, it just picked up a cup of coffee and how much dog hair. To give you an idea, again, I lean it to the side, it clicks, it flips up. This time, I'm gonna disperse it on here so you can see how much coffee was in that floor. Look at this. That's just crazy. Look at that. Wow. Right, and I'm hands-free. The mop isn't clean because I didn't rinse it underwater, but watch, I'll rinse it underwater. I gotta click it. I bring it through. My mop head is perfectly clean. Look at that. Every single time. Yeah. So now I just store it. The one I use every day is in my kitchen. It's ready to go all the time as long as the mop head is wet. So that's it. All right, here's the one I opened at the beginning of the show. All right, we're gonna release all the excess water I picked up. Watch this, you'll see it. Look at that. How cool is this? It's yeah. gonna pick everything up, look yeah, at that. look at that, that's a good demo, look at that. So you get the idea of how absorbent it is. Hey Keith, right. you know, we're doing free shipping and handling today, it's a perffect chance for you to get yourself 20%. a handy mop. The item is 683542. We've only got a few minutes, we're already crazy, crazy busy. So if you wanna get one of these, just pick a color, berry, aqua, or gray, and it works just like Keith is showing you. And I love the fact Keith doesn't take up any room, no space, less than two pounds, and you're not only giving me the original mop head, you're giving me a back up to 100 i give you two mop heads or we give you two mop heads one i use with just water picks everything up cleans everything up keeps the dust down the dander down keeps my filters clean and the other one i use when i use chemicals now hey here's say here's the thing look at this ketchup mustard oh my goodness that was kind of too much all right we'll see how what this handy mop's got all right and there's some moisture sauce now in real life say it's a dog mess anything it's going to smear it's going to I don't know how you're going to clean this without a handy mop, but with my handy mop and anything I miss, I can just look at this guy. Yeah, it's perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Thick, oh, doesn't matter. A little, bit, matter. Left, little yep. bit left. I can come back and get it, but look at this. And it holds it. It traps it. Now, how we use it, you and I both, we use our kitchen sink. So it's a little bit awkward. I'm going to bring this over to the sink. I lay it flat and watch all this run off. And the thing I want to show you, you can obviously see the ketchup and mustard. But when I bring this roller through, where do you see the Worcestershire sauce in this thing? Yeah, see, there it is right there. Look at yeah. that, and it clean up. Now, if it doesn't come clean, just keep running it under, well, just cold water. So you want to do hot water, because it activates the PVA much better. And look. Perfectly Look clean. Look at that. Now I can store the mop head, yeah. put it away. It doesn't drip. I can do anything I want. Now, I got other spices and stuff down here. I might have just picked them up too much prematurely, but let's see if we can show you. Now, my whole kitchen floor. Most people have to sweep it, then mop it. This will do everything in one shot. Yeah. And Look at, it's slow profile. We can get it under anywhere. Get just, it under all the baseboards. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Look at how you can drive that thing. You can get anywhere. I mean, it's, it realistically, it's the, it's the shape that mops should be. I mean, honestly, when I think of a string mop, Keith, I'm like, that's just a sloppy mess. There's no way to really wring it out without getting a separate bucket. Then you gotta have the ringing system to deal with that. This is all in one unit. Everything is done in one unit. All you need is a little hot water. It's never been easier. We are extremely busy. Over 300 people just picked it up in the last couple uh, minutes. We're gonna uh, take a little extra time uh, to get it, but it's 683542. Um, brand new HSN credit card today. You get a discount on your first item, so if you want it to be this, you can do that as well. Uh, but you can see our counter's going crazy. Go ahead, Keith, do some more messes. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> I'm back in the living room now. Now, under normal circumstance, we got to sweep the floor, right? How does everybody sweep the floor? You sweep it like this, and then you got to get your dustpan, and then you got to get your mop and everything else. What if there was one device, no dustpan, no nothing, and you could do it all at one shot? We have a dog, and she's a lab, and she is a mess because she sheds nonstop. Right. Now, this mop head will go in any way, shape, or direction. 
it will bend towards the roller or away from the roller, not 360 degrees. But if I want to get it under something, God, the thing I love about it is it picks up everything and holds it. it could, look at all yeah, that, dog. Yeah. guy. What yep. other mop dustpan? Now, if I'm, if I'm using a purple or a green product, the disposable, first of all, it's going to cost me a fortune to keep it going. And second of all, I'm filling up landfills and everything else. We call this a magic finger. We're running out of time. So magic finger, halfway down, all my baseboards. Look at this. I love it. So you you can you can configure it into any situation that you need to clean. But for me, Keith, what I love about it is it's quick. You know what I mean? It's quick and it's handy. So by the time you even fill a bucket with water for your string mop or your sponge mop, you've already cleaned it off, dumped it into the sink, and you're on your way and you're and you're doing your job. If you want one of these, remember it comes in aqua or teal, excuse me, teal, berry, or you get it in gray. Item six eight three five four two. Keith NZ, great job again. Nice buddy, appreciate you. Have a great weekend, guys. You too, bud. All right, we're gonna slide right over and get right into our next item. We are already crazy busy on all these different items. This is called, uh, this is called um, hanging hooks. So when I first aired it, I didn't buy it then and I, because I forgot. And then the next time I, I aired it, I'm like, I gotta get these things. Because first of all, I used them throughout the holidays to hang decorations, you could see. How else would you hang that? You can't put a screw in glass, right? You, it's really hard to drill holes in the back of your cabinets. If you've ever tried to do cabinets, sometimes their composite material doesn't work. And then they strip out, right? And then you gotta, then you gotta fill it and redo it. Use the hanging hooks. These are reusable adhesive hangers. Now they don't use a glue or any kind of a uh, you know, nasty sort of a chemical, what they have is this nanotechnology. It's like thousands of little suction cups. We all know a regular suction cup doesn't work in the shower, right? Three o'clock in the morning, right? Your, your shower brush falls and you're like, oh my God, somebody's breaking into the house. You can put this on anything. Uh, painted surfaces, it'll work on indoors and outdoors, right? It's impervious to water. When you to peel it off, you'll see, you can just re-adhere it wherever you need to go. I love to show everybody the demo one more time. So, so this is just a, a, a jug of water. If you come in really close, you'll see I put the large handy hook on here. You're gonna get 14 of these, okay? And then you're gonna get another 10 in the smaller size. I'm just gonna take the hook and I'm gonna pick it up and just show you, okay? And you know what a jug of milk weighs. Absolutely no problem, it's not going anywhere. But the real test, this is 18 pounds of lead weight, or 15 pounds of lead weights. And I want you to see how strong this thing is. It is ridiculous, okay? So think about your shower door. Think about areas you can hang pictures with this. On the larger ones, uh, you can hang up to 18 pounds on the larger ones. And on the smaller ones, you can hang up to 11 pounds. This is what you'll get. So you get a full selection for under $20. You will love these. Let me introduce you to Linda Lyde, who is standing by. Linda. Hanging hooks are back again. We cannot get enough of these. They're amazing. Absolutely. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning. And happy Saturday. Yeah. You know, you just showed the handy mop, and I was thinking, you know, it, to hang it. Hang it. Perfect. <laughs> because look at these. You have different, you know, you have the, this is the large hook, right? And this is the small hook. So you can see that what I do is I put my broom, I put my mops, and I just peel and stick it. So... All you need to have is a flat sealed surface to put these on. You don't need a drill, you don't need a hammer, and you don't need a screwdriver, and you don't need a professional like myself to do it. All you need to do is peel and stick it. So what I want you to do is think about all the different things that you have around. Now, for me, this little guy here would always give away on my suction cup, right? So in your bathroom because it's wet, it's moist, what's going to stick to your tile? You don't want to drill into it because now you're puncturing it and you might get water behind the tile, mold. You don't want any of that, right? So you're thinking like, what is it? So I tried suction cups for a really long time and then I would put something like this and that was exactly what would happen. But would it happen in the afternoon? Who knew? It happened about 2 a.m. and I think somebody was like breaking in. So I wanna show you on tile because this is, you can put these indoors, outdoors, anywhere where that is flat and sealed and a tile is a perfect place. Now, I have glass tile just to show you, you can put it on glass as well. So you're gonna free any of, maybe you have some soap on it, maybe yeah. grease, whatever surface you wanna clean that. 
And then I want to show you, all you have to do is you're going to peel the back of this. Now it has that film and it's very similar to, you know, that protective film that we put on our phones mm -hmm. to protect the glass. Very similar guy. So you put it here, you figure out where you're going to put it. You take out the bubble, right? The air that's behind there. You work from the inside out. And once you have it on, what I love about these is that once you get them on, they're kind of invisible. And just like a guy was showing you, like I just put, this is a small one. It'll hold up to 11 pounds, but look at this. I have a gallon of water. Now a gallon of water is a little bit over eight pounds, but we all know what that feels like. Now this is where the rubber meets the road. When you put it underwater like this, and whether it's inside or outside, but especially in the bathroom, because it gets all that humidity, it's still gonna hold my gallon yeah. of water. Now think about your robes. Maybe you got a bunch of pots and pans, beautiful items that especially that we have here at HSN. You can put you can put this, right? You can like, you know, start to stack things on it. You can put your robe on it. You can put things in the bathroom. And Guy, you have a great demonstration of all the different flat sealed services. So I'd love to go over that with yeah. everybody just to show them like all the different areas that we can yeah. put this on. Look, look at, this is just a variety of things that we uh, used with the hanging hooks, okay? So even a spice rack, we used two, right? And we've got a spice rack on there and that, that, that just sits there. If you've got to hang a cutting board or some of, your, if some of your kitchen items, it's perfect for that. Check this out. So when we move into the shower, here it is, right? So maybe you've got an area for all your uh, bath supplies right there. Hey, Linda, we were just talking about it. If you, if you, bought, if you bought the handy bop, look. Just, just hang the handy exactly. bop right there. There it is. That's all you need to do. And remember, it just has to be a painted surface, a flat surface. Um, even a finished wood surface will work. Um, it, it works virtually on anything, right? I mean, the stuff, the, the thing is absolutely amazing. So that's just a couple of different demos. Over here, it's strong enough to hold power tools. We got power tools over here. Uh, you know, stuff like gloves. Uh, it'll go on mirrors. We hung our glasses. Um, I'll, I'll keep moving it around here. Here's a wreath, right? So if you want wanted to put something on your door and you have a you know glass or a finished front door that's painted just put it on there it's not going anywhere it goes when we can go on and on I think I got one more demo up top now we got some on the bottom down here. So again, we showed you different things you can hang. Here it is for your, uh, instead of uh, putting a screw in the back of a door, utilize it for that. And remember they're, they're clear and see-through so they, you really don't see them. And even a pots and pan, it's strong enough to do all that. So everybody that orders will get 24. You'll get uh, a bunch of the big ones and a bunch of the small ones. So I think you get um, 14 large and you get uh, 10 of the small. The small will hold up to 11. The large will hold 18. To me, this is an everybody needs it product, right? Don't try to put screws in doors because then you screw up the door forever, right? And normally a lot of doors are hollow and you can't even put a screw in them, right? They're hollowed out inside. So the screw just jiggles around. This is a way to be able to deal with that. We got about a little over a minute. Uh, I want to go back to you, Linda. Yes. Well, you know, those are great ideas. And when I say flat sealed surface, a wonderful flat sealed surface is those hollow doors in your home, right? Especially in the bathroom. Because if you've ever tried to hang a fairly heavy robe, you know what happens, right? Eventually it'll start to rock like this. And then all of a sudden your robe goes down. You don't have to worry about that again. When it came time for the holidays, the hanging hooks are great because I was able to hang my holiday lights on my gutter. And again, I wanna show you that when you put this on, okay, it's going to be impervious to the weather, the cold, the heat, but the wet moisture, the humidity inside your bathroom, and look, you can barely see it. I love that. Also start to think about how you're gonna organize yourself. You're gonna put your handy mop up. How about, well look, you kinda of can't see down here, but I have my dish towel, right? Because these, these uh, my cabinets here, as you can see, they're very thin. And then on the inside, it has like a, you know, it's even thinner because I have them paneled. There's no place to put a screw or a nail or whatever. Handy hooks are fantastic for this. So. Think about your hats, your purses. I have stainless steel, nothing. You know, a magnet doesn't stick to that. A suction cup doesn't stick to that. You're going to absolutely love 
love the hanging hooks and it's going to organize your life and that's what i love about it yeah you know what here's what i love about it I'm a dude, so yeah. I, I, I'm impressed by this, <laughs> okay? Right. And it's a 15 pounds of lead weights, all right? You are probably never gonna put something like this on there, although you could, but it really, this, this shows you everything about how strong they are. We are extremely busy, we are every time we do these. 24 included, 685, 635. Five Flex, everything on Five Flex as we're continuing to celebrate uh, creating a, the life uh, that you love. And free shipping and handling. Order five sets of these things. I'm telling you, you're gonna love them. Linda, thank you, darling. Great job as always. Thank you. Happy weekend, everyone. All right, love it, love it. 685635. Hey, really quick, guess what's coming up? slam dunk today's special from hp if you are in the market for a new computer maybe you didn't get that one you wanted or uh, maybe you didn't get any one over the holidays this is the one for you it's the best of all worlds okay first of all number one brand in hp number one processor in intel pentium all right and number one operating systems windows 10 you get everything you want plus a year of office <laughs> oh my gosh a year of office it's got a dvd optical drive what i think one out of three out of every 10 computers or seven out of eight computers don't even have that anymore. So even optical drive, you can watch DVD movies. You can make discs. 256 uh, gig uh, solid state drive, all right? Eight gigs of RAM, eight gigs of RAM and all colors available. You shoppers who uh, waited uh, or, or shopping early with me this morning are getting a sneak peek at a lot of them because the colors will go. 750438, that is 10 minutes away. All right. We got another huge customer pick. Uh, it comes to us from Flippo. So let me just tell you, I go through more batteries. Well, maybe you go through more than I do. If you've got kids, you do, because you know they all got controllers and gaming things and all that different stuff. I also have, I have like, what, what do you call it? Um, uh, battery candles, right? All over my house, the little timers on them and stuff like that, and they all take AA, AAA batteries, so I always am ordering batteries. Problem is, for most of you out there, you never know when you're out, and you don't know how to store them. They need to be properly stored. If the batteries touch each other, they start to lose their charge. So Flippo came up with a two-pack of battery organizers and storage cases. They also come with a battery tester. They are beautiful designer colors, but all your batteries will be in the right place so when you run out, you'll know what you need to restock up on. You get two cases. Each holds 60, up to 60 batteries. So single A, double A, triple A, C, D, your button batteries too. You're gonna get two battery testers included so you'll know if the batteries that have been sitting in your drawer are any good. I've got colors available. I'm gonna start over here. And I'm gonna go that this is probably called pink floral. I have it in, uh, I'm gonna call this raspberry. Uh, this one I am going to call teal, polka dot teal. And then finally it comes in blue. And this shows you exactly what you're looking at. And I love the fact that you just zip it up, take it wherever you need to go. So if you need batteries on your vacation, you can take one, you're gonna get two of these. Danielle Lopez is standing by on Skype. And I would love to, good morning, Danielle. I have not seen you in good a bit morning. since uh, since the new year. It's good to see you. These are just so smart and people on hsn.com rave about them. Oh yeah, I mean, talk about a clever idea, right? right. Because where were, you, where were your batteries before, guy? Where were they? In a junk drawer? Sure. Did you have them like this? Yes. Look at this, you can't even How tell about there's batteries in like 10 in here. junk drawers, they were all over the house, <laughs> yeah. right? Scattered, you're searching, you need a AA battery, you're searching for it, can't find it. But now you have them in this perfect case. I mean, this has changed the way that I store my batteries and it holds 60 batteries. You've got 24 AA, 26 AAA, two Ds, two Cs, and you mentioned those nine volts. You don't usually have those around, but now you have a place for them. When that smoke detector starts telling you, replace the battery, that beep's going off, now you have one. Even spaces for those button cell batteries, again, you don't usually have those around. Now you have a place for them. This is gonna change the way you store your batteries, and it's gonna change the way that you are testing your batteries. No one's testing their batteries, but now you're getting two testers. It's so easy to use, let me tell you. I just slipped the battery in here. When I got this home, I ran around my house. I tested all my batteries because it's important to test your batteries. It's so user-friendly. Slip the battery in here. You might be able to show this a little better than I can, yeah, guys. Yeah, I got but it. When uh, the battery's in here, the toggle's gonna be in the green if the battery's good. If it's bad, it's in the red. And that means you need to replace your battery. If you've got bad batteries lying around, if they're in a remote together, a bad and a good battery, it's actually causing that good battery to lose charge just from being next to a bad battery. 
And it, people don't realize you can lose charge on your batteries in so many ways. If they're bumping around in that drawer together, different batteries are touching different sizes, different kinds. It's, ca it's causing your batteries to leak and rupture. And you don't want that. Even if your batteries are, you think you're doing a good job by storing them in a Tupperware container all together. No, you don't want your batteries touching. And that's why this is gonna be so important. You wanna make sure you're testing your batteries and you wanna make sure that they're separated. You can see this foam insert here. This is gonna keep all the batteries from touching. And that's super important. It's making sure they're separated. It's keeping your batteries clean and safe, which is a game changer, let me tell you. Yeah, I love the fact that you even have a tester on the back. So if you've got transistor batteries, and here's a little transistor battery, I'm trying to get it so it doesn't give you a shine. All you do is put it up to it, Touch, there you go, see how, you know Look, it's good. Look, that battery's good. Yeah, you know that's a good one. These always, you're always wondering. Remember the old way we used to check these? You put them on your tongue. Oh my gosh, I hated doing that. Everybody <laughs> did it. You almost had to dare yourself to do it. All right, all that is good news. Bad news is I have less than a thousand of these to go around today, okay? So they are going to sell out. Pink floral, I'm okay. I got about seven or 800 there, but I'm very limited on the raspberry. I'm very limited on the, the teal polka dot. There's only 45 left in the blue. There's only a dozen. Everybody will get two. And you know, it's one of those things. And, and you know, my son, who's now 19, and guess what? When he was, when he was seven, eight, nine, if you think that they stop using batteries more as they get older, you'd be wrong because he goes through more batteries now with his Xbox controller than any, and all his friends come over and they use it. I mean, he's in college now, so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure he's going through a ton of batteries there, but now that he's paying for them himself, he's probably being a little more judicious about using them. But the point is you're always running out and you run out at the worst time. You, you run out because you don't know what you have and then you start looking around. Are you one of those people that take, do you take the batteries off of your old remote controls when, when you need them for something else? The whole idea is to stay stocked up and when you have these, Danielle, you're always prepared. Oh yeah, I used to play the game where you would take one battery out of one remote that wasn't working and put it in another and mm -hmm. switching them around in your three different remotes until something works. But now you're cleaning out those junk drawers and you are storing your batteries the right way. And that is so important. You don't want your batteries touching. You wanna make sure they're clean. Also, if, if they're open, then they're collecting dust and debris. And that's what's great about this case. It's gonna zip up. It is so portable. And it's a soft case, but it's durable. So even with 60 batteries in here, it's not heavy. And you mentioned that your son's in college. What a perfect thing for someone to have in their dorm in college, I mean, it's. I put mine in the kitchen drawer right behind me. It is just the perfect size to store. And now when you need a battery, you're just unzipping your case and pulling one out instead of searching for one. And you can even visualize how many batteries you have. And that is something I really love. Now, yeah. when you get down to it, you know, you're seeing, oh, I need to pick up some AAA batteries. I need to pick up some AA instead of being at the store and seeing them and you say, you know what? I guess I should get batteries. Who knows how many I right. have at home? <laughs> I know, you never know. Isn't that the truth? It's know. like, I, like, like, you know, I, I've got, I've got the system. So it's like, I've always got it stocked up and I always do that. Like when I, I, I go and I think, okay, you know, and even if I, if I don't know, I'll buy some batteries and then I fill yeah. them all in. The key is, um, remember, leave them in, in the original uh, packaging. If you don't have space for them, don't take them out of the packaging. If you have no space left in your, in your organizer, wait till you're ready to re, uh, to restock it because it keeps the batteries fresh. Crazy busy. We now have about 900 total. If you want to pick these up, we did sell out of the blue. If you want teal and polka dot, I've got less than a dozen of those. I'm still okay on, on the other two, but they are going quickly as well. People just love it. They love that, that it's going to organize their house. You know, this is, show is called Now That's Clever. What's more clever than figuring out a way to store batteries, right? And, and a lot of us take it, we put them in a plastic bag where they're banging into each other. That leaches the power out of the batteries. They're not going to be fresh if you do that. So this helps you to maximize the use of your batteries. Plus, you'll never have that awful thing where, oh my gosh, I just got back from the grocery store and I needed batteries. I just saw that I needed batteries. You'll have them <laughs> whenever you need them. All right. Uh, the teal polka dot just sold out as well. So all I have left, I've got 100 left in raspberry, and then the remainder I have in the uh, in the pink floral, if you wanna grab those. Okay, we got about 30 more seconds, Danielle. Let's, let's uh, wrap it up, tell everybody what they're getting here. Oh yeah, this battery case, it's gonna change the way that you store your batteries, just like it did for me. I mean, 60 batteries in a perfect little case. And 
Not to mention, this thing's pretty cute. For Who thinks that we would be calling a battery case organizer cute? But it really is. It's going to fit right in the kitchen drawer. And it's going to change the way that you store your batteries. You want them separated. You want them clean. And this is something I really appreciate, tools that keep me organized. Yeah. So I know that you will too, well, right? Well, yeah, as a single dad, let me tell you, I, uh, yeah. I was pretty disorganized for a while there <laughs> until I started getting stuff like this. And now, I, you know, it's just a good feeling to know you, know you know what you got, you know where it is. Danielle, you're so sweet. Thank you so much for Skyping Thank in. Thank you, guys. All good right, to hon. see you. You too. Take care. See you later. All right, 715-168. You know what's coming up. Slam dunk best. I, I will tell you one of the best computers, if not the best computer that we offer here at HSN. It's our today's special. It's coming your way next.